Oliver's Dream Machine, an epic journey of imagination. Sunlight streams through the dusty attic window, illuminating a whirlwind of gears, wires, and contraptions in Oliver's workshop. This wasn't your average workshop. It was a haven for imagination, where dreams took flight with the clink of a wrench and the spark of an idea. Oliver, a mop-haired inventor with eyes twinkling with mischief, stood proudly amidst his creations, his gaze fixed on the centerpiece, the dream machine. This wasn't just any machine, it was a culmination of Oliver's wildest dreams. Powered by stardust from a fallen meteor and fueled by his boundless curiosity, he had scavenged gears from rusty clocks, repurposed buttons from discarded toys, and woven wires like magic spells. Today, under the watchful gaze of his loyal dog, Rusty, Oliver was ready to test his masterpiece. With Rusty by his side, Oliver donned his goggles and began his final preparations. He checked the stardust core, humming with otherworldly energy, then meticulously calibrated the dials and levers. Each twist and turn was a symphony of anticipation, the workshop resonating with the whirring of gears and the crackle of electricity. Finally, with a deep breath and a touch of stardust, Oliver flipped the switch. The workshop dissolved into a swirling vortex of colors and sounds. When the whirlwind settled, Oliver found himself on the deck of a majestic pirate ship, the salty spray of the ocean kissing his face. He was no longer a boy in overalls but Captain Oliver, a swashbuckling pirate with a trusty sword and a parrot named Polly perched on his shoulder. His adventure unfolded like a fantastical story come to life. He battled a grumpy kraken with tentacles thicker than oak trees, navigated treacherous waters guided by a mischievous mermaid, and unearthed a forgotten pirate treasure hidden within a booby-trapped cave. But amidst the thrill of adventure, a pang of longing tugged at Oliver's heart. He missed the warmth of his workshop, the comforting rumble of his own inventions, and the companionship of Rusty. With a pinch of stardust from Polly's wing, Oliver returned to his workshop, the pirate adventure etched in his memory. He shared his tale with Rusty, the workshop echoing with the clanging of his sword and the squawks of Polly's pirate lingo. This first dream taught him the value of home, reminding him that even the most thrilling adventures couldn't replace the comfort of familiar surroundings. Fueled by the success of his first journey, Oliver embarked on a new dream. This time, he yearned to touch the stars, to explore the vast unknown cosmos. The dream machine whirred to life, transporting him to a sleek spaceship soaring through shimmering galaxies. He befriended a race of friendly, glowing aliens who communicated through telepathic giggles and taught him about the secrets of the universe. Together, they explored swirling nebulas, raced comets leaving trails of stardust, and even discovered a hidden planet teeming with bioluminescent creatures. But danger lurked amidst the wonder. A rogue spaceship, piloted by a greedy alien, threatened to destroy a cluster of stars for their energy. Oliver, with his quick thinking and knowledge of his own inventions, devised a plan. He repurposed Rusty's collar into a communication device, rallied the support of the friendly aliens, and together, they outsmarted the rogue spaceship, saving the stars and learning the power of teamwork.
Returning to his workshop, Oliver relayed his spacefaring adventure, Rusty's tail wagging excitedly at the mention of alien friends. This second dream instilled in him the importance of collaboration, reminding him that even the smallest contribution can make a big difference. With a growing understanding of himself and the world around him, Oliver chose his final dream, to travel through the grand tapestry of time. The dream machine hummed once more, transporting him to a prehistoric jungle teeming with towering ferns and the thunderous roars of dinosaurs. He befriended a playful triceratops named Rex, sharing bananas, carefully smuggled from his backpack, and marveling at the wonders of a bygone era. He witnessed the eruption of a dormant volcano, its fiery breath illuminating the night sky, and discovered ancient cave paintings depicting the lives of early humans. But the past wasn't just a spectacle, it held lessons too. When a careless time traveler accidentally stepped on a butterfly, the delicate balance of the ecosystem began to unravel. Oliver, realizing the butterfly's significance, used his knowledge of history and a quick-thinking invention fashioned from scrap metal to restore the butterfly and set things right. Back in his workshop, Oliver shared his time-travel adventure, 